energy conservation, emission reduction, cost reduction and efficiency improvement are core topics that cannot be avoided throughout the 21st century. As of now, accelerating the construction of a green, low-carbon, and circular economic development system, promoting energy production and consumption revolution, and increasing efforts in ecological environment protection have become goals for the entire world. Energy is the foundation of a great nation. In 2023, China's total electricity consumption reached 9.22 trillion kilowatt hours, a year-on-year -year increase of 6.7%, with a growth rate 3.1 percentage points higher than that of 2022, further exacerbating the pressure on social electricity consumption. The injection molding industry is a major consumer of energy within this sector. Therefore, in today's context of increasing energy consumption and with global carbon emission targets becoming scarce resources in the future, it is imperative for a good injection molding machine to strive for maximum reduction of energy consumption, improve energy efficiency in injection molding, and achieve energy conservation and emission reduction for users. In the past 20 years, injection molding machines have achieved three key technological breakthroughs in energy conservation and emission reduction. Around 2000, there was a technological revolution when the variable pump system replaced the original quantitative pump plus PQ valve control system, reducing energy consumption of injection molding machines by 15 to 30 percent. In 2010, the emergence of servo motors plus gear pumps replacing the original variable pump system brought about another revolution to the injection molding industry, reducing energy consumption of injection molding machines by another 15 to 30 percent. Although injection molding machines have been progressing every year since 2010, there hasn't been a qualitative improvement in energy conservation and emission reduction. As of today in 2024, advancements in injection molding production processes have led to the gradual reduction of differences among major manufacturers' machines, resulting in overall stabilization of injection molding machine performance. Taking a typical 250-ton servo injection molding machine as an example, the power consumption per hour for various models ranges from approximately 7.5 to 15 kilowatt hours. With a machine running continuously at full capacity for 24 hours, the daily power consumption would be approximately 180 to 360 kilowatt hours, making it difficult to achieve significant further progress. DKM has implemented a series of innovations, applying a total of three energy-saving technologies in injection molding machine design. These include low-inertia technology, electric pre-plasticization technology, hydraulic oil internal circulation technology, low-inertia technology, in the injection molding process, energy consumption is concentrated in three stages, injection, holding pressure, and material storage. Common servo injection molding machines in the market are mainly controlled by servo motors to complete a set of injection actions, including the control of hydraulic motors or electric preplasticization and the movement of the injection platform. However, the overall mass of hydraulic motors or electric preplasticization and the moving platform is large, leading to significant energy loss during their motion. DKM has innovated in response to this issue. The new low-inertia series of injection molding machines fix hydraulic or servo motors at the rear of the machine body and use a small rotary table to drive the screw motion. This greatly reduces the meaningless energy loss during the injection process, further optimizing the overall energy consumption of the injection molding machine based on servo machines. Energy consumption is reduced by 15% to 20%, and this technology has been applied in batches in the standard servo series and high-speed machine series for over three years. Electric pre-plasticization technology, traditional variable pump technology controls the movement of injection molding machines by adjusting the output flow of the hydraulic pump, whereas electric pre-plasticization adjusts the speed of the injection molding machine's electric motor. Because electric pre-plasticization can more precisely control the speed of the electric motor, it can achieve better energy efficiency optimization during startup and operation stages, thereby reducing energy consumption. Electric pre-plasticization technology greatly improves energy conversion efficiency, resulting in lower energy consumption per unit of melt material. Currently, it has been widely adopted by most injection molding machine brands. 
Hydraulic Oil Internal Circulation Technology This technology achieves differential injection by setting a valve core in the injection piston to circulate hydraulic oil without passing through external pipelines and hydraulic valve boards, thereby reducing energy consumption. This technology marks a technological breakthrough in the field of hydraulic injection molding machines, significantly narrowing the performance gap between hydraulic and all-electric machines. Compared to machines of the same tonnage with all-electric systems, it can greatly reduce the usage and manufacturing costs of machines. DKM injection molding machines integrate three energy-saving technologies, which can significantly reduce the energy consumption of injection molding machines. We conducted three energy consumption tests on three injection molding machines of the same power but different brands. Using the same set of molds and under the same production cycle, during actual production, the energy consumption of competitor A's 260-ton energy-saving servo injection molding machine was approximately 10.5 kWh per hour. Competitor B's 250-ton servo energy-saving injection molding machine consumed about 10 kWh per hour. While DKM's 250-ton injection molding machine consumed only 8 kilowatt hours per hour. In terms of energy saving efficiency, DKM injection molding machines respectively achieved a 31% and 25% improvement compared to competitor A and competitor B. Using the same example of a standard 250-ton servo motor running for 20 hours per day, consuming approximately 200 kilowatt hours of electricity per day, and approximately 70,000 kilowatt hours per year. After implementing the five energy saving technologies, the annual electricity consumption will be greatly reduced by approximately 18,000 kilowatt hours, significantly lowering operating costs for the enterprise and making a substantial contribution to energy conservation and emission reduction. We are implementing the core indicator of energy conservation and emission reduction through our own practical actions. DKM. Discover key of molding, 